Item number five, miscellaneous. A, presentation by Loring Hospital updating on capital and construction update, right? Welcome, yes. thanks for coming. Last year, I was about this time last year when I came, I just had my hip replaced. Mm -hmm. It wasn't much nicer than I had right in there. I still need a cane. Well, I let you know where we're at right now. Um, we are completely done with phase one, which is the, the biggest portion of our project. Um, the 15 patient rooms, the radiology, the surgery, and the new front entrance, all the concrete. Uh, that is done. Phase two is um, well underway right now. It's uh, asbestos removal. Um, they've, they've had to extend the asbestos removal. The, the asbestos in the lab and the radiology department were, was a lot more extensive than what they had originally anticipated. So they bumped us back till oh, the end of January. They should have been done the 14th of January on asbestos removal. Our, our asbestos is going to end up being oh, probably 8 or 9 percent of our project. Mm -hmm. um, that was not budgeted for that high. It was, mm -hmm. we're, we're running close to um, probably 350000 right now on asbestos removal. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's the best insulator fire protector that was ever developed that just causes cancer. So, so we have to remove it from every inch because every area that's disturbed has to be abated, which is every inch of the building, including the windows which have been glazing made out of asbestos, so everything, floors, mm -hmm. walls, ceilings, the sprayed asbestos on all the, the ceiling joists, the, the bar grids, that scratch all that off, it's, it's just unbelievable. So they are, when they get done with this asbestos removal, they'll just have spot asbestos removal in phase three, but um, so they, they are doing that. They are framing up the four patient rooms that was back in the OB area. Um, they're getting those framed, what they can do inside, um, wire to pull, ductwork, ran, um, and then they are, they've got the footings um, formed with one small piece yet to be formed, and then they'll put, they'll go ahead and pour those when we get above 20 degrees. Um, they'll put heat blankets on them just to get them better cured. They'll use a, a quick setting, uh, heated concrete, and those will be fine. Then we'll put up scaffolding all the, all the way around that west addition, enclose it, cover it and begin the, the block work. Um, I have to put some heat to it for a little while to file out the ground underneath it, but that's just when the plumbers get ready to start laying in their plumbing lines. So um, the emergency room, which is in phase two, and the lab, which is in phase two, uh, can't be done until the asbestos is completed. Uh, once they get done, they'll have that there. But they anticipate phase two being done the beginning of May. Um, that will be our last 10 patient rooms, um, lab, and the full emergency department for the full area that we're using now. And the phase three will begin at that point, which is basically lipstick and mascara in, in the old care center. New, new floors, that's where our asbestos is at, flooring. Um, new windows, paint, drop ceiling, and then we'll put in a, a little, little higher grade than a residential heating and air conditioning system, because right now there's no air conditioning in that wing. We had the old window air conditioner units. Uh, the windows that go in there aren't designed for air conditioners, so it'll just be uh, a small heating and air conditioning unit that will control that. Is that, that used for? It'll be used for the administration. Okay. Um, we'll also be adding where the, the old activity area was, where the last nurse's station was, and now where the lab is, that activity area uh, will be another um, education community meeting room. It does have that patio off the west side there, and so it'll be, a, it'll be a nice meeting area out there as well. So that should be done uh, by the end of June, beginning of July. So we should be completely done with our project by, um, I'm going to say first of August, but uh, they're telling me the end of June, so um, which will be nice. Um, where we are on our fundraising right now, uh, as of this meeting, we're at a million eighty thousand dollars of our $1.3 million goal. Um, they've really started slowing off now. The, the donations have, have really started, they're pretty much, the people who are going to give gave for the most part. We still have, still have a few larger contacts that will come and get some of my contractors um, are coming in with some contributions now. Uh, Bram contributed.
distributed today. We're looking for Shy to come in. We still haven't talked. Got our appointment with VT. Tough to get everybody's schedules together. Um, and uh, some of our others I met with. Uh, Mr. Dries and uh, our, our bigger contractors will be donating as well, many of the Dries and Dennis and Drywall. So we'll have a few more donations come in. Um, so it's, it's, we're, we're fairly fairly happy with how things are going right now. Uh, we, we look to be with those final donations somewhere about a million, 120, 150, somewhere in that range um, when we wrap this thing up. If you've been into the hospital, we do have our new donor wall up. Um, most, a lot of the plaques are on there, not all of them yet. And uh, um, if you haven't seen your name on there, it's a reason. Come talk to me, we'll, we'll work it out. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Um, we are on the agenda. Uh, now that you kind of heard where we're at with the project, um, we, we did request. As we requested in the late 90s, um, the, the city of Sac City gave us $75,000 for the Oak Terrace project, um, which they they uh, pledged over a five-year period of time. Um, we did come to the council and we asked for a larger um, contribution of $150,000 over five years. Um, we would respectfully um, submit that to you for your consideration. We are realists, so we understand the, the city's um, trials and tribulations right now, but you know, the hospital has been a significant employer in this community. Actually, we are the largest employer, single employer in Sac County. Schools don't really count because they're still two separate payrolls and boards. They like to call themselves the largest employer, but they're not quite there yet. Um, what we, number is that? We're about 135, uh, a little over $4 million payroll to this community. Um, so it goes around seven times. Um, you know, we have contributed to the city with infrastructure when we did Oak Terrace. When we connected the water lines to a tune of about $75,000 out of our own pocket. And um, we do pay considerable property taxes on Oak Terrace and the medical office building. The one spot that is not taxable is the hospital itself. But the medical office building we do pay taxes on and we do have a pretty good utility bill every month. So we, we hope that you would seriously or have seriously considered the request for our capital campaign for a five-year pledge. So, Mike, anything else on that? The only thing I'd have to add to that, I think Sac City and Sac County is very fortunate because we're one of the very, very few in the state of Iowa, maybe nationwide, that we don't receive one tax dollar. Um, and that's significant. I don't have the numbers, but our neighboring hospitals receive, but they're on the tax rolls, and they, they, they get a good draw. Anywhere from about 300000 to a million three, if you get down towards the Denison area. So, you know, we make it off of you guys, you know, our patients, our customers. That's how we, we, we pay our bills, and that's how we employ, and that's how we continue to move forward and, and have a very strong presence in this community, and we do. So. I apologize. I called you the wrong name, Mike. What'd you call I don't know where that even came out of, and I'm not going to say what I called you because I just did. I didn't hear it, so that's good. That's good. That's I probably good. called worse, but no, I've been called worse. <laughs> I've been called worse by the board, so it's okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have even known I did it. Bill said you. Hmm. I, I know the rest of our board couldn't be here tonight, obviously with the weather, but I, I do know that you know our board is a, a, a volunteer board. We don't. All nickel or have financial interest in the hospital, so we don't really have a financial dog in the fight. But I think it's really important that we do have the facility in town. And Mike, as Mike talked about, we are the biggest employer, it's a huge payroll. Uh, we've been a pretty good utility customer. We've uh, we've tried to support kids who are in our corporate membership up there. We've tried to help the rec center years past. We've had some therapy thing, all that's maybe gone back a few years. And you know, we're in a position like you are around the table. I know you have budgets in tight fiscal responsibilities too. So anything is greatly appreciated. Do you know about where we are on our campaign, Mike? I got a million eighty thousand. Okay. And we're looking for a one point three million goal and hopefully we get there. The community's been outstanding, uh been very supportive of the project. So mainly we just wanted to come down and kind of give ourselves a little pat in the back and we'll appreciate your consideration.